Hey everybody, Alexandre here with a little Lenormand video. So many of you have been receiving lately um, your pre-orders for the Alexandre Masraq Lenormand Oracle cards. And uh, you've seen also that in the deck there is free extra card, okay? And many of you are asking, you know, what should we do with this card? Can we use it in a reading? Um, so if I put them firstly in the deck, it's because, you know, many people have asked me to, okay? They wanted to have an extra couple uh, in their pack of cards. So I say, why not? And then when I've been working, you know, on my book and uh, looking through uh, my readings, I, you know, I was like, let's see how, you know, these extra people can play a role when you're doing a reading, okay? So these are the, uh, actually the main, the original, if I can say, people uh, in the deck, the man, the woman, and the child, which is obviously a boy, okay? Most of the deck, you know, uh, illustrate uh, a little girl. But I was drawn to put a little boy because my, you know, my first child is a boy. So I think that has played, you know, a role in, in that, okay? So these are the initial people card. And then you have these three ones. And here I have put another couple and there is a, a girl instead. So you can actually, you know, if you have a girl, replace the boy by a girl or vice versa. And when you're doing the same sex reading, this card can be handy. Because when you're doing a, a gay relationship, let's say, a reading, these two men will represent your significator, the original one, and the second one will represent his partner, okay? And you will see that in my deck, the people card always faces, and they can be also back to back. They have a directionality in their um, way of reading because this is very important for me and this is this tell me grand tableaus you know a lot of things this is why it's very important if they face or they are back to back and for the men same thing they can be face to face or they can be back to back let's say for a lesbian relationship again the woman can face each other or can be you know away from each other same for the child, the child can be facing or they can be away, okay? So how to use that, okay? So you, you can actually, like I've said, replace them for the same sex relationship. You can also replace them for, you know, uh, instead of the boy, you put the girl. But you can also do uh, readings with them when, you know, when we want to charge a significator card. Let's say that we want to put the woman in the center of our spread. For instance, for a nine card reading, we will place her in the center and then we will build, you know, our nine card around her. And we will do our reading, and the center will be actually what she's facing, you know, what she's facing. And she's facing obstacles and blockages. And it's very nice when you have the original woman. This will also represent her, not another person, it will represent her. And by the direction, you will know, you know, because this is the position of the mind, what she has on her head, what is heavy on her head. So there is herself, that weight on herself. There is, you know, this uh, relationship or this spouse, maybe aliens that, you know, work upon her. And yeah, it's really nice to see the other, you know, people card that comes, you know, in play. Okay. Another way to use uh, these cards is in a relationship reading, when you need your parent, uh, your significator card to be on the table, okay? So let's see, I have, you know, um, a spread that I call a uh, quick love spread, quick and dirty love spread, and these give you, you know, a full aspect of the relationship and one what the other people can bring in. And here, this will be our um, female querent, and this is our male, and we will pull like, you know, three cards for her, what she bring on the table, 
or in the relationship and free card for him, you know, and let's say another three card, you know, uh, to see, you know, the result. Okay, so very nice again to see, you know, this aspect without reducing the deck. And maybe if we are very lucky, <laughs> this could be, you know, a great sign that the relationship would last. Let's say you have the man, the, the original man and woman card, and between them, let's say you have the ring, or you have the heart, or you have the uh, the child as well. These can, you know, be indication that the, the relationship will be successful, and that there will be a lot of, you know, of nice things happening in their life. Okay, so these are little ideas that I'm giving you to use your deck as at its fullest. If you have experience, you know, other ways of using this extra card, you're welcome to share it. Okay, I would love to hear about it. You can email me, you can post a comment here. You can also make a little video if you have a YouTube channel, you know, make a little video with the deck and show us uh, how you work with it. Okay. So it was a pleasure for me to share that information with you and I look forward to talking to you later.